and welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm kind of having a discussion with you all because my reading habits are changing. Ah, never did I think I would enjoy more mature fiction at the stage I'm in now because I love YA, I'm a reader of YA, but over the past half a year I've been indulging myself in other works of fiction, fiction that aren't necessarily dubbed as YA, and surprisingly I've been really enjoying the experience. I have enjoyed reading mature work, I've enjoyed reading books that take a little bit more concentration. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a bash to YA books whatsoever. I really, really love YA books. I still do. I've devoured four of them this week. And, but there's still this part of me that is really, really craving fiction that has more depth or has more topics in which you can't really write about in YA. So it may be like mature scenes or um, sometimes sex scenes or even more gruesome scenes like murders or thrillers um, and also books that are literally just character based. Books that have no action in whatsoever. Books that are just character based. I really enjoy them. So this video has kind of been inspired by one book in particular and I'm going to talk about that book now and then I'm going to go on to talk about the other genres apart from YA that I've been really enjoying. Now I read a few months ago The Child Star by Bryce O'Connor. Now you may have noticed I mentioned it in a few videos back in the day but I really want to kind of talk about it in a sense from my new like perspective with you guys today and this book is a fantasy book. Now Bryce is a massive massive fan of Harry Potter. His Twitter page is absolutely dedicated to Harry Potter. He posts it all the time and he's very much a prolif prolific author on social media. Now this this book is, could be deemed as YA, as a bit of a crossover. It is a high fantasy book and it is a work of fiction and I think for those who like fantasy with some different topics, some more mature topics, I think you would really enjoy this book. This is based around like a different race, a race of these reptilian beings who kind of go around scavenging and living in this, this fantasy world. This is literally the epitome of fantasy and for me there isn't really anything better than fantasy with a really good topic and this book is a brilliant start to a series. Now over the past couple of months I've seen it flourish online for it's got like nearly 200 reviews on Amazon. It is widely read and I do recommend you check it out if you kind of want a book which has got YA tendencies but a book which you can read and really appreciate the writing from a more mature standpoint then you should definitely check this out. It is very very fantasy orientated. I believe I re reviewed it as a 4.5 or 5 star book. It is very much unlike anything I've ever read before. I cannot recommend another book that's similar to this um, but that whole idea of a different like a reptilian race really excited me and when I saw the cover those months ago I was really excited. So this book, this video is definitely dedicated to this book in the sense that it's kind of getting me interested in books that maybe aren't just YA. Now there's loads of different topic and genres. There is a new adult genre or adult fiction. So two new adult books that I have just in this example is one My Clarity by M. Clark. Now M. Clark is the pseudonym name for an author called Mary Ting who writes steamy novels. Now I will have another video up about sexy books but My Clarity is definitely a book that is very sexy, very sophisticated. And what I really like about New Adults is the characters are more deep as well because sometimes characters are going through a bit of an emotional change in a, in a New Adult book and also bouncing off a partner. This book deals with street racing, tattoos, smoking, intoxication, sex, romance, relationships and being a 22 year old male I'm really enjoying reading about things that people in my age bracket kind of experience. So New Adult is another really awesome genre to try. Now a book which I read which I believed was New Adult but I kind of read it and decided that actually it's a classic in its own right and that was Song of Princes by Janelle Rihanna. Now I read this over a course of three days and this is following the chronological order of the build up to the war in Troy with the Spartans and the Troy and Paris and Hector and King Priam and Odysseus and 
Cassandra and Helen and all these characters and it's basically like Homer's embodied Janelle and has written a book. Now I read this book and it is a bit more of a mature book for the example of it's not a book that's ridiculously fast paced. It's all about characters and you see the characters from birth growing up and it bounces to and fro to and from perspectives and to and from um, places where it's set in and it was just a really enjoyable read. So this is another example of books that aren't really YA that I have really enjoyed and if you guys want to kind of branch out out of YA a bit, then I do recommend this one. And last but not least, a book which kind of started this all off um, was The Girl With All The Gifts by M. E. Carey, which is a book I read two years ago, which is, I'm not going to say what it's about because it would ruin the whole plot and everything, but it is a sci-fi adult fiction novel that will blow your socks off and there's a movie coming out and I'm, look, I'm pretty much obsessed. So that is basically my explanation and my talk about my journey of trying different genres and I have to thank Child of Daystar by Bryce O'Connor for kind of motivating this video and inspiring this video after lots of thought about how I wanted to talk about this book with you, how I wanted to bring this book over to you via the camera and I just had felt like, do you know what? Talking about how this book and others has influenced my decision to start trying other genres apart from YA. So if you guys have read adult fiction novels, new adult novels, classics, any books that you really recommend me to read, it does not have to be fast paced in plot like some books. It can be a fantasy like Child of Day Star. It could be a sci-fi like The Girl with All the Gifts or maybe even a cl Greek mythology classic like Song of Princes. Anything that is a p different from YA, please recommend me down below and I'll definitely, definitely go and check them out. Thanks so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I definitely am going to be doing a recommendations on some sexy, steamy books coming up soon and talking about why I like reading about sex and other people's sex lives. I don't think it's anything wrong with that and I don't think it's necessarily anything bad with that. I think it's just a whole part of the reading experience. So definitely stick around for that. Apart from that, I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!